Okay, this series of videos is going to attempt to create a basic binary tree implementation using C sharp and some basic classes and implement the adding and printing out of the list in a recursive fashion, although I will also show you how to do a non-recursive version of the add. So let's begin with the development of the classes that are going to be needed to implement a binary tree. A uh, binary tree is a dynamic data structure where each element in the tree we're going to refer to as a node. So here I have a picture of what a node is going to look like. Um, we will eventually de declare the class node to represent this object here. It's going to contain a value. Uh, in our implementation, this is just going to be a tree that stores integers. So these values are going to be integers. And then there's going to be a left and a right reference. Uh, usually in other languages, you think of these as pointers, but these are reference variables in C sharp that are going to point to other copies of this object. So when a, if you were to create an empty node, these would point to null at the time that they are created. Uh, when we were to, if we were to add the second node to this, we would use the rules of a binary tree and we would add them based off of the new value compared to the old value. So in our case, we're going to implement the rules that uh, if the value is less than, it will be added to the left side of the tree. And if the new value is greater than or equal to, it'll be added to the right side of the tree. So this is how we're going to implement our, our uh, binary tree values. And in this example today, we'll go ahead and implement the classes for a node, a tree. So we're going to need the, the class that stores the overall tree. We're going to implement the node class, which is what stores an item into the tree. And then we're going to, for um, for the tree class, we're going to implement the add method, which will allow us to put something into the tree. And we're also going to implement a print method, um, which is going to print out the tree in a sorted order. So we'll output a string of the values in sorted order. So let's talk a little bit about what we would want to do to implement our tree class. What is it going to need to store? Well, a tree class, it, it, when we think of a tree as being these nodes with uh, connected together in some sort of hierarchy to build our binary tree, uh, the important part about a binary tree is that somehow or other we have to know where the top of the tree is. So we're going to implement a property called top which will be a reference to our very first node. So one of the things that the tree class is going to need is the top. And top is going to be a reference to a type node. So we're going to go ahead and say that the uh, tree class is going to um, need that top property. We'll decide whether that's going to be public or private later. And then in terms of methods that would be required for our tree class, we need to be able to add things to our tree. So we're going to implement the add uh, method. And like I said, we'll, we'll declare one that's uh, recursive and we'll re declare one that's non-recursive. So uh, we'll have the add method be the non-recursive method and we'll have one called add RC as our recursive version of add so that we can demonstrate the difference between a recursive call and a non-recursive call. And then we also want to de demonstrate the method called print. This is what we will do to get out a method. Now there's a lot many more classes we could declare for a tree. For example, we could do search and we could do um, other things like that, deleting something from the tree. But for now, uh, as our example, we're just going to stick with this very, very simple tree class. Now, as part of that tree class, we have to define the node, which is going to be a um, another type of class. So for the implementation of the node class, we need to 
figure out what kind of items or information is going to need to be part of the node class. Well, first off, it's going to need to store the value. So in our case, we're implementing an integer storage to demonstrate the tree. So this is going to be a type int, and we'll call it uh, value. Uh, this is going to store the, um, the item in that particular node. And then we also are going to need a left reference the left and the right pointers are going to point to new nodes. These are going to be attachments to the next uh, node of our tree. So we definitely need to implement the value, the left, and the right. OK, so let's hop over to C Sharp and go ahead and define those, um, those objects. So here's our form. Our form needs to be the first, if we're doing a Windows form, it needs to be the first class in our uh, project. So we'll go ahead and define our next class here. We'll uh, create the, the node class first since it's easiest. So we're going to do class node, and we're not going to inherit that from anything. And so now we're going to go ahead and define them. We decided that we needed a value, which was an integer. That's going to be public. And we're going to have a left, which is going to be of type node. And that will also be public. and right. Now let's go ahead and create the constructor for the class. What happens when this item is created? So we're going to go ahead and make this node It's going to, when we create the node, we'll always create the node with a value. So we're going to go ahead and give it an initial uh, value on the, in the constructor. And what do we want to do when the constructor creates? We set the value equal to the initial value passed in from the constructor call. And the left is going to equal null, and the right is going to equal null. When you create a brand new item in, uh, in the tree, the left and right is never going to be connected to anything, so our constructor will be built like this. Uh, so here's our implementation of our class node. Very simple. Uh, so let's move on and create our tree uh, class. So our class tree is going to be implemented a little bit more complicated. Um, we need our top, which is of type node. Now we have methods to uh, to worry about. So let's go ahead and create our constructor for um, our our tree class. And we can create a tree that's completely empty. And if we do that, then we want top to equal null. Uh, it doesn't go anywhere. Or we can create our tree with an initial value. So the very first time somebody may pass you an initial value. So the question is, do we want to pass in a node that they created, or do we want to pass in a value and create the node ourselves? We have both options. In this case, let's go ahead and pass it in as a value. So this is going to be int initial, uh, very much like our constructor for our node. And so we need to go ahead and create that very first node. So we're going to say top is equal to new node. And we're going to call the constructor that has an initial value. We're going to go ahead and pass in that initial value here. That will create our first node, assign it to the top of the tree, and carry in the value that we pass to it. Next up, we're going to have to implement our methods. So the methods that we wanted were um, add and print. So we're going to implement um, the add method. Whoop, void add. And when we add something, we're going to pass a value. So uh, int value that we're going to pass in. And we will implement the non-recursive 
add. We also have another version, which we're going to call add recursive RC. It's going to pass in a value, and this is going to be an implementation of the recursive version of add. Recursive version of add needs to start somewhere, so it's always going to start at the top. So I am going to actually implement a new a, a private function that will be called from here, uh, and I'll call it add r, um, which will be the recursive value call. And I'm probably going to have to pass in a node that I need that I that I'm currently working on, so I can keep track of which node. Um, in here. So this is going to be a reference variable. I'm going to pass by reference node n and the value that I want to add. And I'll explain why this, how this function gets called. But effectively, we, we, we need to call that recursive call from the very first item. So the very first reference or item that could possibly be connected to is our top node. So I'm going to go ahead and call add r and I'm going to pass it the reference to top and the initial value that we want to add. So this begins, this will be the public call that will begin our recursive search through the tree to find out where we need to add the item to it. And then the actual adding, the recursive adding function uh, will occur here in add r. This is the private recursive search for where to add the new node. And we'll show how to implement in that in the next part. If we manage all of these things then together, we can have our, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. We need our public void print. And uh, we're going to tell it um, a string to print out into. We're going to store it into a string. So I'll call it reference. Uh, new string, and that'll be where uh, the the item will actually be stored when we're done. So we have a lot of work to do. We have to implement these methods, add, add recursive, and print. So those will be in the next part.